Hello, my friends. It's a little late for our day 14 morning angel manifestation, but here we are. It's been a busy morning. Ah, it's Good Friday, and I just did, um, we just had our Gateway Community Illumination Circle, and we had such an empowering experience of spiritual initiation. Oh, I'm still buzzing from it and blown away by the glory and how much Spirit wants to give to us. So I want to share with you today from our Angel Ministry Sacred Book of Light Holy Sacraments. And this is a prayer from one of our angel ministers that um, was part of our circle today. And it was just so lovely. I wanted to share it with you too. Let's see if I can find it again here. for heaven's sakes. Here it is. Okay. So I've been talking to you a little bit about the seraphim as we've gone through the last few days. So if you've been listening to our daily angel challenges morning and evening, I've been telling you a little bit about the seraphim. So many of us... in I am, you probably are if you're listening, are from the lineage of the seraphim. And who knows, maybe tonight I'll tell you more about that. But this is a but the seraphim have powers that most many humans don't have. And this is a ceremony to claim your powers as a seraphim that our beloved Reverend Hilary Cox from the Angel Ministry drew forth. This is advanced, this is very high level. If it doesn't resonate with you, that's just fine. But this is very high level resonance spiritual initiation going forward. I don't usually share this with you. So here you are getting a taste of the really good stuff that we mostly reserve for our angel ministers. So welcome my friends who are joining me. If you say hi through the chat room or through the comments, I can know that you're here. I like to see the, I like to see that you're here. So this is Reverend Hilary Cox and claiming your seraphim powers. So let's put a hand over our hearts and begin with a breath. Just relax and breathe into our hearts, opening our hearts. That's it, just like that. Let the love in your heart Open your heart to receive this invocation of energy, this call for spiritual initiation. We are in the middle of High Holy Week right now, of Passion Week, and the energy is coming in so powerfully. By listening with me to this invocation, you are claiming your powers and you are using that energy for your upliftment, for your own resurrection and ascension and healing. So as we talk about our seraphim sisters and brothers, that's you. Think of it as you. Because it is. It is you. Here we go. Uh, so this is in the first person, so I'm going to start out with I. So imagine this is you saying this prayer. And if there are some words that don't quite resonate with you, just shift them around in your heart so that it feels more comfortable to what's right for you. I draw a circle of divine love and protection around myself and all of my seraphim sisters and brothers. And in this circle I place each of us in Archangel Michael's blue tube of light and the ring pass not of God's first of God's first cause of perfection. 
And in this circle I ask that no one and no thing shall enter if it is not for our greatest and highest good. In the past, we have gotten in our own way of success. We felt guilty for using our divine powers. We judged ourselves harshly through perfectionism. We allowed worry to, and to control our lives. Fear rose to the surface in our daily lives that caused pain and suffering in our hearts on many levels. We forgive every person, place, condition, or thing that may have caused us pain and suffering in any way at any time for any reason throughout all, all lifetimes. We forgive, we forgive, we forgive. We ask forgiveness for any pain and suffering we may have caused throughout all of our lifetimes. Forgive us, forgive us, forgive us. Feel the power and energy of this now in your heart, your mind, your body. You may be tingling. You may feel energy streaming. You may feel uncomfortable. Whatever it is, stick it out because amazing things are happening happening for you. Trust your body. It knows what to do. It may need to move. Trust your body if it needs to move. Let it move. We now give ourselves permission to grow, learn, and stand in our powers with wisdom and divine guidance as seraphim. We ask that as we stand in our divine power, there is an angel in our front, right, left, and back, which there is. Your team of angels is always around you. Let us now open to trust, receive, love, and give through our power to see hear and feel other dimensions. Each of us is now open to trust, receive, love and give through our power to experience our connection with God. Each of us is now open to trust, receive, love and give through our power to fulfill our purpose. Each of us is now open to trust, receive, love and give the power to receive abundance. Each of us is now open to trust, receive, love, and give the power to know and express truth. Each of us is now open to trust, receive, love, and give the power to see the future and remember the past. Each of us is now open to trust, receive, love, and give the power to experience joy. Each of us is now open to trust, receive, love, and give the power of health and healing. Each of us is now open to trust, receive, love, and give the power to direct nature. Each of us is now open to trust, receive, love, and give the power to manifest. Each of us is now open to trust, receive, love, and give the power to destroy that which is no longer needed, to dismantle, to release. Each of each of us claim these powers now and cut free any residue in our physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual bodies now. We claim our, spirit, our seraphim powers that have been ours since the beginning of time. Divine wisdom guides us through each moment to use our powers for the highest and greatest good for each life we touch. We break through the illusions that have been in the way of our success and purpose now. We now break through and shatter our vows that were based on false beliefs. We free our will to be in alignment with our purpose as seraphim. We embrace the powers that have been divinely bestowed upon us. We lovingly embrace these powers in our lives now. We are released and in the flow, oh, we are relaxed. We are relaxed and in the flow to trust, open, receive, love, and give. We claim our divine heritage as seraphim now. We are so grateful for this liberation. We thank you, Mother, Father, God, for our seraphim powers. Through your grace and love, we welcome our gifts and integrate them 
into all levels of our being now. And so it is. And so it is. So, as you go forth in this day, may you manifest your, I'm going to just recap, your seraphim powers, whoops, I lost the page. Oh, I lost the page again. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, sorry about that. So as you go through the day, may you claim and use your seraphim powers to receive abundance, to know and express truth, to see the future and remember the past, to experience joy, the power of health and healing, the power to direct nature, the power to manifest, the power to destroy, and claim all these powers now, releasing all that is preventing them from passing through you safely and with joy and love. I love you all so much. I'm so glad you could be with me here now. See you, see you tonight for a candlelight service. <laughs>